What is up guys? I'm G and welcome to another episode of Culture Creation, episode 22. And today we're out here in the Bronx. It's a little bit different from San Antonio, but we're here for a special reason. We're here for the superfood of Texas, the Texas barbecue. So today we're out here at Pup's Barbecue. So we're gonna go ahead and see what their mouthwatering brisket tastes like, their pulled pork, and of course their famous secret recipe of banana pudding, which is one of my favorite desserts. So I hope you guys are hungry. Let's check it out, shall we? What's up guys? So the food finally got here and I am very hungry on this. i um, very excited to try this. So um, of course, I don't have to re-explain it, but you know how I love my barbecue sauce. Um, so I was testing it here. I'm going to do a little quick test before I even dip into that. So um, not watery, just how I like it. Um, nice and thick. Has a good spice to it. A little sweet. It's a little bit more sweeter than it is spice, but it'll do. Um, sorry, I'm just really picky about my sauce, but um, it's a very, very good consistency in how I like my sauce. Um, so starting with this side here first, I have the pulled pork sandwich. So I have, uh, it comes here with potato salad and beans, um, pickles and onions on the side over here, and then your sandwich. So I'm going to bite on this side. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, this side, because I didn't put any sauce on this one yet. So I'm going to try it without the sauce and then with the sauce together to see what, which one tastes better. So, um, cheers. Mm. <laughs> Pulled pork is good. Um, very tender, very sweet. Um, but, I mean, just the way it is. I'm going to buy into the other one with the sauce here. Mm. Barbecue sauce just makes it that much better for myself, but even if you're not a sauce person, um, standing on its own two feet without barbecue sauce, it's really good. Um, it has really good flavor to it, um, but if you just like that boldness of the barbecue sauce, like I do, that I just put barbecue sauce on everything, it's a good option there. So I'm going to dip into, um, open this here so I can dip into the beans. So. beans are out of this world so I would say they're more ranch style beans I'm to kind of give a comparison to they're more like a ranch style bean and I love ranch style beans more places need to make ranch style beans um, so I, I love this oh hell yeah <laughs> so she said hell yeah so um that's good <laughs> yeah she's still eating more so potato salad is bomb too sausage as well we didn't get sausage this time but they do have sausage also so now dipping to what everybody comes for in Texas the brisket so um you know you have your bark here look how good that fucking bark looks um bark's really good um look at that pulls apart like butter look at that you know key to good brisket is if you can do this and it just comes out you're gonna have a good time i'm having a very good time with this um so really good. Um, has good seasoning throughout on the crust there. Um, really good brisket. Of course, me personally, I'm gonna put barbecue sauce because I like barbecue sauce. But that's just my personal preference. This is delicious. So before I finish getting into this, I'm gonna spoil my dinner and get into dessert real quick. So on everything you order, you do get banana pudding here. So I'm gonna try to mix it up here. Um, so you see the vanilla wafer there, I got the pudding and the cream, so I'm going to take a bite out of this here. Oh my god. I'm not even going to eat, I'm just going to finish this. I'm going to eat these two and Donna can eat the rest of the food. Um, it's, it's, it's amazing. Uh, one of the best banana bread puddings I've had. Um, 
It's a secret recipe, and I can see why. So, um, I'm just gonna keep eating this. Uh, <laughs> so they're open Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They're open from 11 to 2.30, and then they close to restock up for dinner time, which is from five to seven. So um, it's out here in New Braunfels, like I mentioned earlier. So um, it's definitely worth the drive though to come out here, and it's a nice little small kind of community as you come in. Um, so I'm going to finish eating all of this because uh, this is amazing and uh, we'll be right back. What's up guys? So real quick, I know I already finished eating everything else but um, I was informed after we finished eating and filming that they have brisket tamales. So um, I had to get some to try some because you know I love tamales and I love brisket. So um, I'm going to break this in half real quick. So look at that there. Look at that beautiful delicious brisket in here. Um, you get a lot of meat stuffed in it instead of uh, masa, so hopefully that makes it taste good. So, um, cheers. Really good. Um, the juiciness of the brisket makes it nice and moist. Um, the masa on there is perfect. It's not too much masa, but it's enough masa to say that there's some on there. Um, pretty good. I would not recommend eating this with ketchup, like some people. Hell no. I would maybe eat it with barbecue sauce, but just I'll like eat this. it with ketchup. Just like this is more than enough, so um, I'm gonna finish this and um, yeah, you know what to do. So that was delicious. I had a blast. If you're looking for good barbecue out here in the Broncos, Pop Barbecue Place is the place to go. This BYOB, and they do offer free. Uh, banana pudding which is one of my favorite things here um, so definitely come check them out and have fun on a Friday night Saturday night Sunday night um, and behind us over here there is a coffee shop as well so if you want to get some coffee you can get some coffee as well so that being said it's time to jump back to San Antonio so like always I'm G and this is Culture Creations episode 22 so remember 210 culture bringing the best of 210 Nation